Hey, welcome to my video. I'm going to show you how to add a neutral safety switch and a reverse light switch to your B&M Pro Stick. Let's do this. Before I install it, I'm going to do a quick rundown of uh, everything that's in the neutral safety switch. So we'll pop this open. Uh, if you want to know the part number for the neutral safety switch, it's 80844. So, everything that comes in the kit come, should come with uh, two screws, two nuts, and two washers. Uh, the little bracket that will actually hold the switch. Um, two connections, so you can uh, connect it to your little micro switch and the little screw that holds the bracket on to the shifter. Now this piece uh, you'll have to put on the shifter. It has little uh, raised surfaces which I'll actually press into the switch and uh, make it start or make it not start. And you'll see like there's two different paths. Uh, one will be for reverse lights, the other will be for the starter switch. And I bought the reverse lights too, which it's a lot like the first kit, well, kind of like the first kit. That's uh, part number 80609. And this kit, it only comes with the little micro switch and two little connectors. Now that they know it's in the kit, um, I already got a plate installed. We're not going to install that plate. Um, we'll probably just put it in the toolbox. But we'll put in this uh, plate, the switch and connect these and have them ready to connect it to wires. So let's get to it. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to install them. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna take a multimeter and then put on the continuity, I believe that's what it's called, continuity. So when you short it out, it makes a noise. So now if we take a little micro switch, we'll add uh, a couple wires here, a little uh, alligator clips and I'll show you how this switch works. All right, we got our clips uh, installed. Now, um, it's not making any noise right now, but if you press this button, you'll connect the little, you know, contacts in this little switch and uh, create a circuit. But um, there are also different switches that look a lot like it. So if you think you can use any a uh, switch that looks a lot like this, uh, you're definitely wrong. So I'll put these leads onto here and I'll show you um, how this one works. Now I didn't connect this one yet um, because it's already connected without hitting the switch and uh, if you use one of these you won't start in park and you'll actually be able to start and drive and it'll be a, the exact opposite which uh, is not what you want. So. Be careful what switches you buy. Um, probably get the ones that are from the company. I'll leave a link for the ones I bought down below. But uh, also, if I hit the button on here, the connection's broken. So we'll be using the BNM uh, micro switches. So we'll install our plate right now, and then uh, install our switches. Okay, this is a little bit of after video after I got it all together. But I thought I should show you how to put that plate on. Um, what you're going to have to do is remove this little clip in that little groove right down there. So you remove this clip, you'll slide out the shaft, and then there'll be like this little wavy washer. You'll remove this off the shaft, right like so. And this little plate has this little ta bent tab. Then you're going to stick it on the shaft. And then there's actually a little hole that sits into right there. Then you'll grab your little wavy washer, stick it back on, and then slide it through. Then you'll keep your wavy washer next to your plate. And then put your clip back into the little groove so it all stays together. So, uh, clip, wavy washer, and then the little selector plate. And that's how you put that plate on. 
FYI. Now I'm going to show you how to put your switches on your shifter. First of all, you're going to want to grab your bracket and uh, just see where it's going to go. This little raised boss on the back side will actually fit this little drilled out hole right here. And it'll face that plate that I already have pre-installed. And so your little press and switch will be facing this way, of course. But before we pop that in, we're just going to pop on both our uh, switches using the provided hardware. A screw. Uh oh. Now it's having some problems installing the bracket and the switches. Both the switches, one would be just fine for uh, the starter control, like the neutral safety switch, but adding the tail light switch, um, I was having a problem because the hardware that came with the neutral safety switch, the screws were not long enough. So I filed the little gap on the bracket and drilled it out just a little bit. And then I also took that drill bit and drilled out the switches just a little bit. It is definitely a sloppy way to do it. I'll actually post um, the screws that you should be using, which are your 4 40 thread. Um, I tried to get some locally, I could not find some. So I did the sloppy way and uh, drilled it just a little bit. It'll totally be fine, it'll work. Um, you won't even know. I'm pretty sure these switches will. Uh, beyond the shifter until this thing's done so it's totally fine so now um, let's bolt it all up and uh, call it good I feel like I keep forgetting this step um, so we got our screws and we're actually going to assemble this before we throw it on the shifter um, it'll actually sit in like this so if you can pretend the shifter's right here and it will bolt to these points right here. So, if we take our screw, we'll throw it in the top hole to start out with. We'll pop it through. And try to hold that not on the back. It's a lot easier doing it outside of the car instead of on the shifter. Make sure it's lined up good. There we go. And then we'll throw in the other screw. It just sticks out. There we go, just like that. And now we'll go bolt this onto the shifter. All right, this is gonna be quick and easy. Uh, we got our little assembly right here that we did before um, bolting this on. We already have this little, um, you know, indentation plate, a uh, little selector for the gears. So we're not gonna use the other one that came with the kit, because I already got one. And this kit's for the Pro Stick, so this should work flawlessly. So what you gotta do is stick it on here, and then there's that little drilled hole. We'll almost fit right in there perfectly. And then you're gonna grab the screw that came with the kit, put it through here, and then screw it down. Make sure it's tight, and if uh, this rattle's loose, you can always put blue Loctite on it. Now, we have our little um, wire connectors. I won't use these because I got uh, shielded ones that I'd probably prefer over these. But now, you can take your multimeter, put it to 
the short mode. And now, the if you look where it's selected, the bottom one, yep, the bottom one should be short right now. Which it perfectly is. Top one should not be engaged. That's totally good. Now this is in reverse. And uh, nothing there. And the top one should be engaged, which it is not. So we gotta adjust this. Now that we adjusted the front screw and we adjusted the back screw, now it should be working perfectly. We'll check the bottom again, make sure that didn't come out. Yep, that's good. We'll come into reverse. Like a champ, those reverse lights will be working. Now this should be neutral. It's uh, passing through. And uh, let's go back to reverse. That's working. And the bottom one is now too close. I think that little movement did it. Nothing. It's also nothing. Got nothing on the bottom. That's working good. Now we're in neutral. Nothing. We can start. Now we're in a drive. Nothing. 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 Nothing there. Nothing. And nothing. So these are adjusted properly. So there you go. Um, that's how you install these switches. Um, there's a little bit of finagling. Oh, I did. I'll uh, put a link for those bolts and uh, these kits um, down in the description if you're interested in these. Looks like I'm missing a clip right there. But I'll put a link down for these. And uh, for the bolts and nuts, so it goes a lot smoother than this. That you don't have to like file or drill bigger. But that's what I did, just to make it work today. And uh, comes with the wire connectors. I'm not going to do that now. Um, I'll be doing, doing that later. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a like. Or uh, follow me if you, you want to watch this Camaro project come together. Um, but thanks for watching. You're awesome. And uh, have a good one.